Welcome to this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Lauren Matheson. And I'm John Nash. Well, hey, Lauren, the women's basketball team picked up a sweep this past weekend, winning on the road in Malibu for the first time since 2008 and then coming home and defeating USF on Saturday. Our very own Nikki Gilday had a chance to talk with Talisha Anderson about last week's games as well as the upcoming week. Hi, Bronco reporter Nikki Gilde here with senior point guard Talisha Anderson. Um, so, T, we had two big wins this week, um, Pepperdine on the road and USF at home. What was the key to getting those two wins this week? Um, it came down to defensive execution and moving the ball on offense, getting, the, getting touches inside and getting the guards good looks on the outside. Um, this week we have a big game against St. Mary's at home on Thursday. Um, what are, what's the focus in practice this week and what are we looking to focus on for the game? Um, we're working on, we're really working on the on balls. Um, they do a lot of on ball screens and slips so we're working on getting our post hedging. Well we're doing a bunch of different ways to, <laughs> to guard the on ball so that's going to be our main challenge. Um, and we'd like to see some more fans out there, some more Rough Riders. Do you have anything you want to shout out to the Rough Riders? Rough Riders, come out and support your Lady Broncos. Women's basketball team will be back here inside the Levy Center on Thursday against St. Mary's, 7 o'clock start, and then on Saturday against Portland, 2 o'clock. Come out and support the Santa Clara women's basketball team. Well, John, earlier this week you were able to meet with Kevin Foster, who was this week's WCC Player of the Week. Check it out. Joined by Kevin Foster, this week's WCC Player of the Week. And Kevin shot 62% from the field last week, 28 points per game. Wow, what made you guys so successful out there in getting the two wins? You know, we were just moving the ball really well. Uh, we had to come back strong from the, from the last week, and uh, we did. Uh, it was a, a total effort, and it started in practice, and it just carried over to the game. Well, congrats to Kevin Foster on the WCC Player of the Week. Men's tennis this past weekend opened up and beat UC Davis and UC Santa Cruz. They will now go to the ITA kickoff weekend at Cal Berkeley. Thanks, John and Lauren. Um, yeah, we had a great weekend this past weekend. We beat uh, UC Davis in our first match. It was a pretty competitive match. They played us pretty tough. Um, we had a great performance from our doubles teams, and Eugene Muchinski had a great match in that match, and it was nice to get some of our new guys in there a shot. Um, Hachiterian did a great job as his first match of, of his career, and we were pretty happy with that. And then we finished the weekend off with uh, Santa Cruz later on that day, and we got both of our freshmen in that one. So that was good to have them get the experience. And we, we did a really good job of just taking care of business in that one. Um, and then also we're looking forward to this weekend where we start with the ITA kickoff against the University of Michigan. It's We got our hands full. They're a great team. Um, hopefully we can bring our A game because we're going to definitely need it. And in that group of four with Boise State and also Cal, we're going to have two great matches this weekend up in Berkeley. So if anybody's available, hopefully the weather will be great and you can come support the Bronco uh, men's tennis team in Berkeley this whole weekend. Well, Lauren, the women's team had a successful weekend, opening their season at the Cal Berkeley Invite, highlighted by Katie Lee knocking off the number nine rated player in the nation. Head coach Ben Cabell had a chance to talk about that, as well as the upcoming match against UC Santa Cruz this weekend. All right, thanks, John and Lauren. This is uh, Coach Ben Cabell from Women's Tennis. Just wanted to talk a little bit about our uh, past weekend at the Cal Winter Invite. We had a very successful weekend. The team started off playing against St. Mary's. Um, and we did we did a great job. They're one of the top teams in the conference, and we played them really tough up and down the line. Uh, probably highlighted by Jessica Agra and Stephanie Scaras winning two uh, very tough three set matches. Um, and our day on Sunday was probably highlighted by uh, Junior Katie Lee beating the number nine player in the country from Cal Berkeley. Um, it's the biggest win we've ever had in our history of our program. And for her, it's going to put her in the top, probably within the top 15 to 20 players in the nation right now. Good luck to the women's tennis team this weekend. Also, John, our very own Callie Rice got the scoop with Lexi Williamson on the t-shirt drive. Thanks, Lauren and John. I'm Callie Rice here with this year's SAC president, Lexi Williamson. So, Lexi, you're in charge of the t-shirt drive. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? The t-shirt drive is sponsored by the West Coast Conference, and it's basically just a big collection of t-shirts. So what is Santa Clara's goal this year with the t-shirt drive? 
Our goal is to surpass the amount of t-shirts we collected last year, and our goals also include winning the competition between all the schools in the West Coast Conference, as well as our athletic teams competition and then our RLC competition. Perfect. Thank you, Lexi. Back to you, Lauren and John. Make sure to bring your t-shirts down here to the Levy Center to donate to the t-shirt drive and support SAC. Hey, Lauren, you had a chance to talk with Mark Trasolini about his play of late, and he's certainly been tearing it up over the past couple weeks. I'm now joined by senior basketball player Mark Trasolini. Mark, you lead the conference in blocks and rebounds. What's been the difference since you've come back from the injury? Uh, I'm just trying to be physical. I put on a lot of weight in the offseason and just trying to use that down low and be really as aggressive as I can. Well, it's worked out well for you. Also, fellow Bronco Eric Hurtado from the men's soccer team was drafted fifth overall in the MLS draft this past week. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm really excited for Eric. First of all, congratulations. I don't think I've seen him yet, um, but I'm really excited for him to be, uh, to be part of the Vancouver Whitecaps. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of them, and I think definitely when I go home, I'll check out a few games and, and hopefully see him scoring some goals. Uh, speaking of your home, you're from the lovely land of Canada, uh, which is also big in hockey, and now the NHL is um, off its lockout. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, I don't know how much people care around here, um, but I'm really excited for, uh, for the hockey season to be back. Um, my Canucks aren't doing so good so far, but it's a long season. Actually, it's pretty short this year. It's only, it's only a few games this year, but uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing them uh, get back to the playoffs and hopefully make a run at the uh, Stanley Cup. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me again. And that's it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos!